Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. How are you doing? Are you enjoying your weekend? I hope you are. Let's talk about Tim Zhu versus Brian Mendoza because if you were unfortunate enough to watch that ridiculous farcical grab fest, that mall fest between KSI and Tommy Fury, that six round farce, then you were probably desperate for something, something like an anecdote, uh, anecdote an antidote to uh, sort of take the stink away, to take the pain away, to take the gut rot away. Um, yeah, that fight, that six rounder was the equivalent of uh, having a dodgy curry and spending your Sunday on the Kazi. However, an antidote was on its way because Tim Zhu and Brian Mendoza put on a fantastic fight over in Australia. Um, Tim Zhu, huge for the weight, he won, he uh, didn't really retain his uh, WBO um, super welterweight title and he did so against an extremely game fighter, an extremely game um, opponent, a true warrior who was coming off a fantastic win over Sebastian Fundora, that six foot five inch super welterweight who he knocked out, uh, scored the upset, first defeat for, uh, for uh, Fundora. And that got him the opportunity to fight Zhu. And even though he lost, and he did lose, he did not disappoint. Zhu is, you know, a very, very good talent. Uh, does everything technically correctly. Um, moves, moves well. I mean, his, his footwork is probably quite underrated because he he doesn't appear to be doing a lot, but he's edging forward constantly. He's very adept at staying out of range, just maybe half a half a foot out of range, a foot out of range, and then edging forward, puts constant pressure on the opponent, does start very slow, uh, and that can have a negative effect. Um, he's an orthodox fighter. Mendoza was orthodox too. Um, Mendoza, I think, is 29 and Zhu's 28. So these guys were in their prime, really, if you, if you regard late 20s as being you know, the probable prime for most fighters. Um, and yeah, again, Zhu started slowly and I gave Mendoza the first three rounds. They were close. You could go for Zhu if they, I mean, uh, well, these swing rounds, a couple, I, I think Mendoza did win because of his aggression. He had not come there to lose. He'd not come there to go the distance. He'd come there to win and he was putting it on Zhu and Zhu at no point was hurt, but Mendoza was landing punches, the heavier uh, probably probably more punches, a greater volume of punches, and was being extremely proactive with his work. Now, after six rounds, I gave, the, I gave four, five, six to Zoo. So after six rounds, it was even. But this was definitely a fight of two halves, because Zoo, in the second half of the fight, I didn't give Men Mendoza a single round. Zoo suddenly started to turn the screw. Zoo turns the screw. He's a poet and didn't know it. And he actually did really sort of pull away quite quite dramatically in the fight, which is not to say that Mendoza um, in any shape or form was thinking of quitting, was, uh, I mean, he was in danger of probably the referee stepping in and stopping the fight. It was noticeable in the first half of the fight that Mendoza did have some damage under, uh, what was it now, his right eye? Is, mm, I'm, I'm not sure which eye it was, but there was a swelling. Uh, I think it was his right eye, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so that the weight of punch from Zhu, even though he was in that first half of the fight, was only more or less only firing individual punches, had clearly had an effect. And in the second half of the fight, that swelling got worse. The eye wasn't shut, but it was quite a bad cut under the eye. It sort of the swelling split. Um, and in the seventh round, Zhu really put it on Mendoza. I mean, he beat him up. He didn't just he didn't just beat beat him in that round. He beat him as hell. Hung in there, hung tough, still throwing his own punches, still trying to be proactive, still trying to win the fight. Um, not going anywhere, he was being pushed back, but and was forced to fight on the back foot. But don't think for a second that he was running, he was not. But Zhu was definitely edging forward quicker now, quicker, quicker. Lots of, lot more punches coming out of him. Um, and hurtful punches too. The uppercut was fantastic from Zhu. Really, really good punch that guy's got. Um, he was jabbing a bit more, going to the body very, very well. And some of the punches, especially the uppercuts and the body work, 
how Mendoza stayed on his feet, I do not know. This was a tremendously courageous performance by the eventual loser. But technically, Zhu was, I mean, he's pretty much perfect. He's trained by his uncle, um, Kostya Zhu's brother, Papa Zhu, I think it is, yeah. Uh, whereas Mendoza is trained by Ismail Salas. Uh, Ismail Salas don't waste time on, on nobodies. So he knows Mendoza's got a lot of talent. But whatever Kostya Zhu's brother is doing with Tim Zhu, it's working. Because he Zhu is so precise with his punches. He's extremely patient, maybe a little bit too patient, you know, at times. But his his uh, the, the uh, accuracy of his punches and the way that he doesn't really waste anything is extremely impressive, extremely impressive. And Mendoza, even when he was stuck on the ropes at times, facing a barrage, um, he wasn't looking to hold, he was looking to fire back. The referee was maybe a tissue paper width, you know, uh, from stopping the fight. But, uh, you know, Zoo was winning the rounds, but this it takes two to tango. And I'm sure Brian Mendoza would have won some fans in Australia. He certainly won some fans, you know. Well, he would have won fans from anyone who, who watched that fight. It was fantastic, a fantastically courageous performance. But there's no doubt that Zoo's skills are you know, very, very impressive. Very impressive. This is proper boxing. This is why we love the game. Um, and I, I thought that towards the end, uh, there was I think it was the 10th round, where again, Zoo tried to get Mendoza out of there and was slinging punches, punches in bunches, getting him on the ropes, um, being a bit more cavalier. Um, he actually, I think he said uh, prior to this that his, his best defence is his off. I wouldn't quite agree with that because I think he does have a little bit of defensive nous. Um, you know, he, 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 the way he stays out of range. I mean, we talk about defence being just having your gloves up by your face and protecting yourself or doing a Philly shell or whatever. But no, 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 defence, part of defence is controlling the range and staying out of punching range. And I'm, I was very, very impressed with Zoo. Uh, I want to see him fight, like most people, I want to see him fight Jamel Charlo. Um, but mentioning Jamel, Jamel Charlo, if you remember his fight against Canelo, which you should do, it was only a couple of weeks ago, um, the way that he lost was he basically just had a journeyman's mentality. I'm going the distance. Uh, you're not going to hurt me. He got floored in the seventh, got up and was very, very timid. Right? If you absolutely have to lose a fight, the way to lose it is how Brian Mendoza showed us. Because he was, I can't, can't emphasise enough how game he was. You've got, you've got to really knock this guy flat out to keep him down. And that's not to take, you know, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not dwelling too much on Mendoza. I think Zoo's performance, he deserved all applaudits. But again, it does take two to tango, as the old cliche goes. And Tim Zhu found a perfect dance partner in Brian Mendoza. Um, just, you know, a terrific performance by the champ. What did you think of this fight? If you didn't see it, try to dig it out somewhere. I don't know if it's on Daily Motion or maybe YouTube. Um, but well, well worth your time, if, especially if you watch that crap from Manchester in England yeah thank, thank god I don't normally watch that rubbish um, but watch this tell me what you think leave your comments below if you're new to the channel and you can subscribe that's fantastic um, and please leave a like as well and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing really appreciate your time looking forward to what you've got to say let me know your opinions have I missed anything if so you tell me and I'll catch you later thanks for now